Is it true that you uh, Matt- um, wanted to email or call John Krasinski after the first one, but didn't? Yeah. But then I- he called you. Exactly. I went to see it with my boys and uh, I was absolutely knocked out by it. I think it may have been my favorite film of that year. I don't know what year it was. Maybe it's 2018. And um, I didn't know John or Emily. I'd never met them or worked with them. But occasionally I'll do this. I'll write an email to someone. And I wrote the email and just saying how brilliant I thought it was and, you know, what an excellent piece of cinema it was. And then I got, I just got too embarrassed. I didn't say, I didn't send it. So I never sent it. <laughs> and then uh, I just thought, why well, he doesn't need to be hearing from me. And it sounds a bit like, um, you know, looking for something that I wasn't, but then he, then a year later, he emailed me back or not back, but he emailed me. Right. Got it. If so, only we knew it was that easy <laughs> to, to get into films. All you got to do is watch a film in the cinema and go, just email the director. Go, hey, or I'm don't not or not write a draft it. email and then not do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's it like acting with the, with the creatures who are, oh, they're one of the best kind of alien video creatures I've seen, but the, the, doing that green screen, I presume it's green screen acting you're doing alongside them, but it's so brilliant. There was no green screen acting whatsoever on the on it. Um, all of the locations were uh, real. Uh, um, it, the, you know, where Emmett lives was in this old disused um, steel, huge dis- disused steel factory in um, upstate New York. It looks like some ancient civilization or, you know, that's just crashed to earth. Um, and so we didn't have any green screen whatsoever. And mostly, you know, you're, you're just running away and then they drop in the creature after. They'd have stuff blowing out of the way, you know, like, um, um, but there wasn't any green screen. So, I, so it felt very real and it felt like you're in the environment all the time. Wow. So we, did they have models or was it robotics or are, 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 you, are you ever seeing any of the creatures, you know, those moments where you're crouched down behind and it's walking around? Is, is there anything, what are you seeing? Uh, generally nothing once or twice there was like a very big burly stuntman um in in a sort of a black thing uh, like a completely black onesie like a onesie with a with a claw occasionally uh you'd see that but mostly it was just actors using their imagination we wanted to offer our condolences because i know you lost your good pal and cast member and and star of the show and many other great things like the Harry Potter movies and Skyfall and films like that. Helen McCrory, of course, I'm, I'm talking about. Um, yeah. It must have added a, a real difficulty to to shooting what would be difficult anyway in terms of it being the last season. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's it's been desperately sad and s- sad for for all of us and everyone that knew her and was close to her and, and uh, you know, all her fans and she was just, she's like, she's the matriarch of, of Peaky Binders. And, uh, and I think my closest colleague on the show and, and uh, the Tommy Polly scenes, the Polly Tommy storylines were always my favorite. And she was it, without doubt, w- 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 one of the best actors I've ever had the pleasure of working with. And, but on top of that, just an extraordinary human being, you know? So it's really, really sad. And we're all still kind of deal- dealing with it like like everybody else. And we, we really miss her. You mentioned the, the Peaky Blinder film there. Do you have a timeline for that? Or is that something that's already locked into your diary? Or is it a kind of a suck it and see considering all the delays of everything? Uh, the, there, I, I, I think there will be a film. I think that that, that will happen. Um, a, a lot of the, the, the thing with it now is trying to get everybody together at the same time time um because everyone is so so busy but i think the plan is is to do it i think it's the end of the it's the end of the tv show for now in this current form and i think i think steve knight is definitely keen to 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 make a film so fingers crossed be great 50 year old tommy Mm. shelby (laughs) (laughs) dermot and dave on today fm